we have a lot to cover. So let's just get into it. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to those that are new. I am very excited that you're here and um, yeah, invite you to subscribe and to like uh, and to comment down below with any thoughts and any questions that you may have as you watch this video. As you can see from the title of this video, this is um, a newborn essentials video. When I was pregnant with all of my children, um, I found myself binge watching a lot of this content on on youtube so i found it very very helpful as i was creating my baby registries i decided to make one for you guys uh now that i consider myself a veteran uh mom at especially the newborn stage um yeah so i really hope you enjoy this and feel free to ask me any questions i'm gonna go through the items pretty quickly just because it's a bunch of stuff it's not really a bunch of stuff but um enough that this video can be an hour long and we don't want that if i miss something you can uh drop it down below for everybody to see um yeah all right let's get into it the first category we're going to talk about is hygiene everybody loves hygiene right um, even little babies, they love hygiene. Um, and the first thing on the list on that is diapers. Uh, so diapers are super controversial and we're not gonna get into uh, controversies on this channel, but especially diaper controversies. But I will say that for us, for me, I have found that um, Huggies and Pampers work really, really well. Um, I love both brands. I am a lo loyal buyer and consumer of Huggies and Pampers for all of my children. They have a little swaddle thing that is super helpful. Like it's like elastic and it's it catches a lot of the things that you don't want to wash later. So um, I hope that's helpful. Um, wipes. We use any wipes, to be honest. Um, right now we have a lot of Kirkland, like Costco wipes, but like Pampers and everything else like that, totally fine. Um, as far as bathtub and the bath situation, we use the the Skip Hop uh, Whale uh, bathtub. It has a sling for, for a newborn, which is super, super helpful. Uh, for washing them, we are loyal consumers of Aquaphor. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it, Aquaphor. Um, so yeah, so as far as the wash and the shampoo, when they're in the newborn stage, we use this one just because it's, it, it, it helps out with sensitive skin. My children all have sensitive skin. Um, so we use Aquaphor for the baby wash and we also use the, uh, it's like a Vaseline type thing. It's called the healing ointment for moisturizer for, for their skin. Um, and it really just protects their skin, even from diaper rashes. Like my kids... Um, thank God, have never really struggled with diaper rashes. And I'm pretty sure it's because I coat their bums with this stuff. Like, especially at night when I know they're gonna go long stretches without a diaper change, I like take a big glob and I just like coat it. You can see like we use this up. This is it. Good gift to give someone too. If they do get a diaper rash, I love this brand. It's called Triple Paste. Um, it's very, very good. We tried Destin and like different other ones and I'm not trying to be a hater, but like those were terrible. There are some diaper rash creams out there that actually cause your child to suffer. And I don't know why. Uh, Destin did not work for us and other brands that I can't even remember. But this, this right here, Triple Paste, fantastic. As far as like other moisturizers, I love this one, especially with my son right now. He has super sensitive skin and I learned after weeks and weeks of trying to clear up his acne that he actually has eczema. So I went through a lot of different products and I found um, that Eucerin works really well to, to help his, his eczema, um, his dry skin. So, but here's a tip, the, the baby, Eucerin is more expensive than just like the adult one. And I think it's a bit smaller too. Don't fall for that. 
just buy the adult one or just the regular one it works just fine you would think that washcloths aren't like that big of a deal but they are and people sell them for a ridiculous amount of money don't fall for that either like find a cheap one i'm gonna link these ones down below um but i don't know why they overprice baby stuff like it's crazy um but these ones are are fantastic and they're probably like the the most inexpensive ones at least on amazon that i found um but they're really thin and soft and there's a scrubby side like a little bit rough side and then there's a softer side and they're thin enough that you can like put your finger in and then like get under that uh newborn neckline and then like under like the little creases i pray that everybody has a baby with crease lines because it's like the little fat rolls it's fantastic it's delicious um but yeah this helps you get right in it the second category that we're going to get into is eating um this is a baby's favorite thing to do is to eat so first thing is a boppy a boppy like nursing pillow this is the one i have um for some of my not some for my other um children i tried the um a, a pillow i think it was called my my breast friend or something like that and i hated it i hated it, it it's like something that you have to take and like clip at the back it's just super inconvenient um when your baby's screaming and you just want to grab them and, and feed them and you're still recovering um you might have had to go through a c-section and 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 a little boppy is just a, just it makes it that much easier and that much less painful to be honest it also transitions to like something that a baby can can sit on and just like rest their head and you can do tummy time with it a lot of cool stuff that you can do with this thing two things that i found to be really helpful the first thing is a haka um a haka is i mean just a small little tool that is just a game changer so this one catches a lot of your letdown um so if i'm pumping from one side i can put it on the other side and it catches the milk that is uh, already going to be going on my nursing pad or something like that um and then you can start building your 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 stash your freezer stash with this it's been so helpful i i've only pumped i, I think i started pumping a couple weeks ago uh, and my son like i said is almost three months now um and i have a pretty good stash going so really really helpful and you don't even have to be attached to like a pump you're doing it while you're nursing so it just it feels less cumbersome um as far as a real pump i've tried so many different pumps this time around i'm trying the motif luna um it's bigger than ones that I've had before, but I think it's a little bit more powerful, which means I'm able to express milk much, much faster. Um, and that's that's amazing. I've had the Amida Maya. That one was really good. It's really compact. It just goes in your pocket. Um, I've had several different ones, and I think I like this one, but you guys can check in a few months from now, and I'll tell you the, the real tea. Where does my milk go? Storage freezer bags these are 100 percent essential especially for the working mom or just like for date night um you just put the milk in there after you've already expressed it and then you just put it in the freezer self-explanatory um and then bottles we tried so many bottles y'all with our first child we tried so many <laughs> so many and the only ones he could take were these ones these like mom ma'am m-a-m bottles um these are the only ones that he could take and you know what i i didn't change from it our second child she took these ones and now like he's taking these ones um the the nipple part is like a little flat if you can see so it it helps them i think with the latch um and all my children have really just liked these ones so we, we've just stuck with them i can't speak with other about other bottles but we love these ones and then a drying rack um there's no there's no cute aesthetically pleasing drying rack for bottles out there um 
I don't know who I'm talking to, but somebody needs to come up with one because this is, it's tragic. Even the grass ones are ugly, but this one is uh, pretty low profile and it's what I like to use. It just goes up against like a wall or like it can just be displayed a little bit better. Um, and it's, it just takes up less space, right? It's still not super cute, but it's better than what's out there. One last thing, um, burp cloths, so important. Um, they can also run you a pretty penny, but these ones are really inexpensive. I'll link them down below. They're also from Amazon, but they're like this muslin, muslin. How do you say that? Mus muslin? Anyway, um, yeah, that type of fabric. So they're really soft, really, really soft. And they're long enough that if you just put them on your shoulder, like, you know, it can catch the spit up that might dribble down the back. Yeah, spit up dribbles and it's not that fun to be walking around with stains although i think everybody understands once you have a kid right but um these are really good i just bought white ones but they come in all different colors and we have them placed all over the house because yeah if somebody's holding the baby the baby's most likely going to spit up at some point so babies newborns don't need as like that many outfit changes. They just really don't. Um, with my first kid, I bought so many things. And now with my third one, I have um, just onesies and sleepers. And I think that's pretty much it. Like, to be honest, I, I think that's pretty much it. So um, as far as, as far as onesies go, um, these like regular white onesies are great um you can buy them in different colors but i think whichever ones you find like your kid is probably going to mess it up anyway and then you're going to wash it and <laughs> sometimes it's too messed up you just give up you abort the mission um but i think these are great uh you can buy some long sleeve ones if you live somewhere where it's a bit colder or your child is you know, like a winter baby. Um, these are really great and they're super comfortable. They're just the Gerber ones. Um, for the sleepers, this is like their pajamas. I love these type of, of, uh, of pajamas, right? And it's not like this specific brand, but like any pajama, any footed pajama that opens from the bottom is get that one don't don't even don't even try anything else don't even think about it just put that one in your cart register for that one don't get anything that your child is going to be in during the nighttime that you have to like take out the full thing to change their diaper don't do that so this one zips from the bottom and the top but from the bottom that so, so that you can take off their little feet and change their diapers without their hands being out um, and then you can just zip it back easy no velcro no buttons no nothing um so yeah and your child honestly like they can stay in this all day like just because it's technically pajamas or sleepers or whatever doesn't mean that like a little newborn needs you know 15 different sweaters like we all need to calm down with that truthfully we just need to chill different types of blankets so um i think it's good to have like a nice warm and fuzzy blanket and then maybe like a lighter one um just depending on 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 the climate of where you're at and when your child is born but i have this really warm and like comfy and just so cuddly um and babies love that like they, they can feel texture and it's good for them to be to be a little bit warmer and and for them to feel that something is soft on their skin and then um also something that is big and comfortable but a little bit lighter um i use these ones for even you know going outside like you can like cover the the stroller with it and they can take a little nap it, it makes it a little bit darker so that's really helpful Whew. what does a baby need to sleep <laughs> it's a age-old question right uh, we, we use a bassinet um specifically 
um, the halo bassinet that's been really helpful we've used it for all of our children and it just goes right by your bed and like swivels and and all that stuff and just brings a child really close to you so you can you can feed them in the middle of the night without having to get up and like walk around and stuff like that the other thing is a swaddle um, there's many swaddles out there we use the love to dream swaddles it's the ones that they look like like a starfish in it's super cute um the reason i like this is because again of the zipper situation so this one zips up again it zips like that so i don't need to actually take them out of the swaddle fully i can just zip it up and change their diaper and then like zip it back down lay them down game over um I also like this and I liked it with my children because my my kids, especially um, my daughter and my my newborn right now, um, they did not like to have their arms swaddled down. They like to have their arms up. Every child is different. Um, so, so I really appreciate that. I also don't like Velcro because Velcro is like, it tends to be a little bit loud. So like when you need to change their diaper like you have to do the thing and it's just very loud another thing that i think is necessary is a sound machine now this is a hatch sound machine i've used this for my daughter and we use it right now um it also comes with a night light so it eliminates the need for an extra night light um, and it has different colors science and science people say <laughs> that red light is less stimulating so you can turn this to be a red light just because it has like an array of colors and if you turn it on and change your 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 child's diaper in the middle of the night they're not going to be super stimulated and wake up at three o'clock in the morning and want to party they're going to be calm and at least that's what the science people say so check it out this is really good it also um, you can control it on your phone and I find that to be so helpful especially when trying to transfer a child from sleeping in the car on like their car seat to their bedroom I can literally turn it on on my phone and then it's like we just drop them in the room and it's really really easy I can increase the volume I can decrease the volume it transitions really well with them in into toddlerhood my daughter still uses it um, it's, it's just a very good sound machine um, and it has a lot of functions baby monitor so we use infant optics and we've used this for our children for a long time now um, and the reason I like it is just because it's really clear the the night mode is very very clear um, it has a long range and you can like just set it up as you're working like on the kitchen stand I particularly don't appreciate the ones that are connected that need to be connected to wi-fi um because if your wi-fi is wonky that day then it means that you're not able to look at your kid and i need to see my child when they're sleeping um just because i don't want to have to run to them every time like they're like making a little noise like they might still be sleeping and they're just moving around and you know talking in their sleep and things like that fifth category that we're going to talk about is play um now honestly like as far as playing for for a newborn and i'm talking about like the first two months first three months of, of a baby's life you don't really need much um don't fall for the gimmicks don't don't fall for the gimmicks um all they really need is 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 uh is a place to maybe lay on and for them to learn who you are. So like even talking to them is playing, making faces at them, blowing bubbles like on their cheek or just like hugging them and, and hanging out with them. Um, but if you want to engage with your child a little bit more, you can get like contrast cards, right? Because at that age, in that newborn phase, they are very much intrigued by black and white right like really contrasting colors they can stare at that at, at those cards for a long time i'll link the ones that we use for our newborns but um everything else like like the play mats and things like that those are wonderful things and, and you can lay them on there 
for tummy time and different things like that. But you can also do tummy time on a blanket. Um, I think those things come in handy after three months. Like them, them when they're actually able to reach and touch things, they're able to engage and use those items a little bit better. But I don't think that they're necessary for newborn. Um, it is helpful to have a place to lay your child down so that you can do things, right? So that you can, you know, take a bath or a shower uh, so that you can, uh, you know, make a meal or eat or, you know, just different things like that. So um, I don't I don't technically consider these like play. I consider them just a, a safe place to lay your child. I think they become play a little bit later, but um, I would say it's helpful to have one of these things, not all of them. This one is a boppy lounger. Uh, my daughter loved this, loved it. Like could lounge on this for a very long time. My son, on the other hand, he's not, he's not that much into it. He's just really not. He might grow into it, which is why I still have it. Um, maybe in a couple months, he'll be like, oh, I actually like hanging out on this thing. But right now he's really not. Um, so we don't use it as much. He is a fan of the baby bjorn this is the thing that he loves he can hang out in this thing and just be a happy little baby for a very long time um gives me time to cook and clean and get things ready for his his siblings and and things like that so this is this is a well worth it investment um it's also a high ticket item but it's a very good gift for someone so register for it now let's talk about transportation i i use the i use the ergo baby pretty much every day we go for a walk i mean i'm carrying him in this um when i want to make a target run I, I go there if if i'm not pushing the stroller um i'm probably carrying him at church i'm carrying him or my husband is carrying him um, so I love this one. I think this is the Ergo Baby 360 and it's one that can, uh, carry an infant up to toddlerhood, right? Like you can even like use it as like a bag carrier situation. I, I think you can also use it on the side. It's like an all 360 situation. So this is, this is a very good investment. We used it for our daughter. We're using it right now for my son. And, uh, we just, this is something that we don't regret purchasing um i also have the wraps like the moby wrap and the Catan and, and different things like that and i like those ones but you can only use them for a certain amount of time and then the child grows out of it so if you have flexibility in your budget definitely you know get that but i don't think it's essential i think having something that can grow with your baby is more important than just having a lot of gadgets a diaper bag now i love this diaper bag it's very, very, very helpful. It has a lot of pockets, like a lot of pockets. Um, and it's very big. It fits everything that I need, if it's everything that I want, if it's my stuff, the baby stuff, and my toddler stuff. Um, and it's also, I think, very cute. So I'll link it down below if, if you guys want to check it out. Um, and also a diaper changing pad. Now, most diaper bags like this one came with a diaper changing pad so so you can use that or you can use just something else like we have a different one i think it's by skip hop um it comes with different compartments um that you can put your wipes your diapers you can even put like a change of clothes such that you only need to carry that one thing i keep that one in the car all the time and it's fully stocked with uh diapers diaper cream um wipes and a change of clothes that's like my emergency stash that if i had to run out of the house with nothing and my baby i know like we have some diapers and we have some wipes and um a, a change of clothes or, or like if i forget my diapers at home or if i run out and i'm outside i know that i have like a backup stash in the car a nursing cover um so this is if if you're breastfeeding it's very helpful um i've tried very many I think this one is my favorite. I'll link it down below. Um, but it 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 just it's exactly what it is. Like you just cover yourself when you're nursing your child. Um and it just gives you a little bit of privacy.
talk about medicines and health and all of that. So one thing that I'll tell you, when a baby is born, they, their digestive system is really wonky. So what I found that has been really helpful um, is stocking up on probiotic drops. So I have, this is from Mom, Mommy's Bliss, um, and just one drop gives them healthy bacteria in their bellies, which means their adjustment to the outside world is a little bit easier. I'll link this down below, um, but this was definitely game changer, um, and it's safe for babies. And then obviously the doctor will tell you uh, vitamin D drops. Um, this is also from Mommy's Bliss, but I think you can get them from any brand. Don't be a rookie and get caught without any fever reducing medication. <laughs> Don't do that. Always, always have some kind of Tylenol or Motrin stocked up just all the time. Um, so this is, this is definitely an essential, like right now, run, run and just go get it. Run and just go get it. Our last category is miscellaneous. This situation, this is called um, Miss Mouth's Messy Eater Stain Treater. Uh, it's a non-toxic and it's very effective. I can tell you for sure this is very, very effective. If you just like spray a little bit after you've like scrubbed it, you can even scrub it a little bit more and then you pop that right in the wash, comes off. A diaper caddy. So this is the diaper caddy I use. And it's also what is next to my bedside table for like night feedings and night changings. I keep diapers in here and wipes and different oils and always a burp cloth and a change of clothes and also an extra swaddle. Well, thank you guys so much for, for watching this. Um, I hope you found it really helpful. I'm going to try my best to link everything down below, all the different products that I use and I found helpful. Um, feel free to comment down below if you have any questions. Also, if you have any recommendations or if you think that I, I didn't highlight something that you found helpful when you were in the newborn season as well with your child, um, it, I'm, I'm sure other people would find that very, yeah, very, very valuable. So... Let me know if you have any questions. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.